I have two very special guests with me. Um, Paul David Eskew is the uh, co-founder of something called Tengu. We're going to find out more about that in a minute. But uh, executive chef uh, Michael DeGrazia from Secret Location is here. And he's involved in this evening, um, but also the exec chef at Secret Location, which is a fairly new uh, bistro cafe that's open in Vancouver. Yes. Uh, how are you guys doing? We're doing well. Good. It's, uh, we deliberately got a little slow out of the gate. We wanted to build it based on quality. Good. as opposed to hype. I love the fact that the name of it is Secret Location. Yeah. So down in Gastown, now you're involved. Uh, what are you cooking for us today, first of all? I'm cooking a pan-seared Arctic char hmm. with clam chowder and a crab uh, fritter. Oh, nice. That sounds delicious. And it is going to be part of uh, this Tangu night that yes. we are now going to talk to Paul about. So Paul Tangu, what is that? What is Tengu? Well, Lynn, Tengu is our mission to making Vancouver more fun and just more connected. And the way we do that is through something we call a resto cocktail hop. So picture a three-course meal mm -hmm. where you go to three different restaurants and gastropubs in one night, and you essentially get your drinks, tax, tip, all included. You go on tengu.ca, you book it, then you just show up and it's set up. And for a change, uh, a great night comes to you as opposed to you and your friends getting together and thinking of all the hassles and the guesswork of like just getting a night organized. Mm -hmm. So we really want to make it super easy to have a unique night out. And also there's a social aspect to it as well that's important. So your first event is coming up on the 8th of February. Mm -hmm. And is this something that's open to singles, couples, large groups? Like, who are you looking for? We get a, a mix of everyone, really. Uh, it's anyone who just wants to have a great night out. Uh, typically, we find it's a lot of kind of groups of friends. It could be a girl's night out. It could be a birthday party. It could be on a date. Uh, it's a really good set of people kind of in the young professional uh, demographic. And yeah, just very energetic people that usually come out. And how many do you end up with in the group for the evening? Usually it's about 30 people. Mm -hmm. Kind of, uh, you know, it's fairly intimate. It's nothing huge. And uh, yeah, they progress through their night across three different places. So again, the three course meal is spread across uh, three spots. So we'll start off at a place for appetizers and a drink. Just to get, get things started, right? And then we go over to Secret Location, in this example, for our entree and our dessert. And then we end off at kind of a uh, place for a nightcap, so a final cocktail to kind of wind down the night and, uh, you know, finish Very off good. strong. Now, Michael, uh, Secret Location is involved in this. Why did you guys get involved with Tango? Well, we think it's, uh, it's a good fit. Um, I think that the, the kind of clientele that go to Tango are pretty much exactly the kind of clientele that we're looking for at Secret Location. Um, that I mean, we're looking for anybody to come to Secret Location. <laughs> uh, but I think that we will appeal to Tangu's type of demographic um, the most, I think. The sort of young, stylish, urban kind of Vancouverite. Very good. Uh, how's the uh, Arctic char going over here? Going very well. Good. Um, so right here, I'm just sort of doing a mock-up of a, of a clam chowder. This isn't going to be ready. I have some that is ready right here. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just sweating off some vegetables. Now I'm going to add some, Sorry. Uh, some clam juice, clam nectar, mm -hmm. and some cream. And I have here a little sachet, which has some herbs, thyme and parsley, as well as some um, peppercorn, some cloves, a uh, clove of garlic, and some bay leaves. Hmm. So it's in a, like a little tea bag it's as opposed to just being in the soup. Exactly. Okay. Um, and under here, we have ah. our Arctic char. Nice. And I like to cook the Arctic char just on one side. I like to get a nice crispy skin, uh, but I don't want to really cook the, the meat under really high heat. So I cook it under on just one side, get a nice brown, and then just for the last moment, flip it over. And as you can see here, it's a little bit sort of uncooked mm -hmm. looking. When I flip that over, it'll just get a nice more gentle heat. The burner will be off and it'll, uh, it'll just cook nicely through very gently. You'll oh. end up with a nice sort of slightly pink piece of fish in the center and a beautiful crisp skin. How important is it not to overcook a piece of fish like that? Arctic char is fairly forgiving. Okay. Um, it's fairly rich. Uh, 
and so it's never going to be totally dry. Uh, even if it is really hammered, as we say in the restaurant. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, a lot of fish, you really want to keep it sort of on the medium side right. or else it gets pretty dry. Okay. Paul, where did you come up with the idea for kangaroo? Well, Lynn, it was a mix of a lot of things, actually. Um, I think uh, it was a year after the Olympics, so in 2011, I think it's just the fact that we realized that, you know, they weren't going to come back and just kind of getting nostalgic on how fun those two mm -hmm. weeks really were. Uh, then we thought of like events like down in Vancouver, like why did they happen two weeks out of a year? Like there's such a good time, but they don't happen very frequently, mm -hmm. right? So I think organization is key, but it just, it seems like good things don't get organized too often. Uh, and then it's kind of a mix of, I think there's two ingredients for a great night out. It's organization, which is a, a key, and spontaneity. Right, so we thought of sort of that organization part, but also we thought of a lot of like me and my friends' nights out where it ended up being spontaneous because we don't really know where we're going. And when we go somewhere, that we're either waiting in line or we pick the wrong place, and there's just only like it's not out of a good way. So, like, nine times out of ten times, when you go out on a night out and it's spontaneous, it doesn't work out well. I find, especially in Vancouver, uh, but one out of ten times, it's like the best night ever. Okay. Like, the timing's great, you go to the right places, it's awesome. So naturally, we wanted to kind of blend them together and be like, what if we could have something we call organized spontaneity, where it's something that it's set up, it's going to happen consistently, and it's going to happen year round as well. And I think that's super important. And what's our price point? Uh, we put it all in for $50, wow. against including everything. Uh, we go in Gastown, Yaletown, Main Street for now. Uh, starts it there, and we'll also have other packages we'll introduce later on, uh, which we're working on right now. Very good. Okay, well, if you'd like to take part in a Tangu night, the next one, as we said, is being held February 8th. There's another one on the 15th, and many, many more coming up after that. For more information or to book a spot, go to tangu.ca. And if you'd like to check out Secret Location, their location is not so secret. They're located at One Water Street in Vancouver. Secretlocation.ca is where you can find out more information or call the number that's up on your screen. Gentlemen, both, thank you so much. This Thanks looks delicious. Lovely to meet you. Good. Good luck on the uh, Tango night coming Likewise, up. Likewise, thank you. All right. Thank you.